booster ignition, and the final liftoff of Discovery. A tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Discovery roll, program. Roger roll, Discovery. This is Mission Control Houston, the space shuttle now rolling over onto its back for the eight and a half minute ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hoba as Discovery's three main engine throttle back up. Isn't that beautiful? Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bowen, mission specialist Al Drew, and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. Its altitude 24 miles. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. Its altitude 37 miles, downreach of the Kennedy Space Center 53 miles. Discovery now getting a boost into orbit from its twin orbital maneuvering system engines on either side of the shuttle's tail. These two engines will burn for two minutes and 32 seconds. You are two engine tau. Uh, we do have updates to your no-com mode boundaries, and we did launch late into pane one, our only pane. The uh, contingency abort boundaries we'll use are in plane pl plus 230. Let me know when you're ready to copy the new Presta ATO and Presta Miko. Okay, copy all. Two engine tau is ready to copy. Into your Presta ATO 11.9. Presto Miko, 15.4. That's a good read back on both. Discovery can now make it to emergency landing sites in Europe should one of the engines fail, but all three engines continue to perform as expected. Capcom Charlie Hoba updating the crew there with some uh, updated uh, time information due to the later than planned launch. Thank you very much. That was a Three minutes and 50 seconds into the flight, the shuttle traveling 4,700 miles an hour. Discovery, you are negative return. Negative return. Negative return. Discovery now traveling too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. But all three main engines continue to function as expected. The shuttle now traveling 5,200 miles an hour. Its altitude 62 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 170 miles. Pretty amazing. Well, that was it. And here we are at Cape Canaveral, Kennedy Space Center, February 2011. STS-133. That was amazing.